Uh, who who are the people here at like 2 a.m. waiting out front? Oh. oh my, oh my. All right, so, all right, he's standing outside. Which now, no, no, not yet. I said he's standing outside right now. So I just want to make you make sure that you guys are ready for this. Uh, big shout out to everybody watching at home. Thanks to GossipCenter.com. I'll tell you what, Miami. Y'all got to make some noise. For my man, Ed Sheeran, y'all. Hello. Um, hello everyone. My name is Ed. I'm uh, I'm I'm going to be playing some songs that uh that are quiet. <laughs> I'm actually a uh, I'm actually a relatively chilled out person. So you you can all we can all we can all be chilled now. It's all good. So thank you very much for coming. I'm going to start off with this song and then I think we're going to get into a chat. But um, it's always nice to be back in Miami. I always have to stay under a tree to stay shaded because um, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm I think I'm part vampire. Which is anyway, cool. Pick up the pieces and build a Lego house. And if things go wrong, we can knock it down. My three words have two meanings, but there's one thing on my mind. It's all for you. Mm -hmm. And it's dark in a cold December, but I got you to keep me warm. If you're broken, I will mend you And I keep you sheltered from this storm That's raging on now I'm out of touch I'm out of love I'll pick you up when you're getting down And out of all these things I've done I think I love you better now I'm out of sight I'm out of mind I'll do it all for you in time And out of all these things I've done I think I love you better now I'm going to paint you by numbers and color you in. And if things go right, we could frame it and put you on a wall now. And it's so hard to say it, but I've been here before. Now I'll surrender up my heart and swap it for yours. Now I'm out of touch, I'm out of love. I'll pick you up when you're getting down. And out of all these things I've done, I think I love you better now. I'm out of sight, I'm out of mind. I'll do it all for you in time. And out of all these things I've done, I think I love you better now. Don't hold me down now. I think the braces are breaking, and it's more than I can take. Oh. And it's dark in the cold December, but I got you to keep me warm. If you're broken, I will mend you, and I keep you sheltered from the storm that's raging on now. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm out of touch, I'm out of love. I'll pick you up when you're getting down. And out of all these things I've done, I think I love you better now. I'm out of sight. I'm out of mind, I'll do it all for you in time. Out of all these things I've done, I think I love you better now. I'm out of touch, I'm out of love, I'll pick you up when you're getting down. Out of all these things I've done, I will love you better now. Thank you very much. Cool, so uh, apparently, love you too, thank you. Um, I've, been told, I've been told to play another one before we do the chat, so I'm going to 
I'm going to play another one before we do the chat. I know what I'm going to play, okay? <laughs> um, so uh, so I played a, a uh, radio station in, in Australia, and th one of their... Um, it's right there. Yeah. <laughs> one of their uh, kind of clauses for pl being on the station is you had to turn up and do a cover of a song that wouldn't necessarily be uh, something that you would play. So uh, I learnt this song, I uh, put it together with another song, and uh, I hope, hope you like it. Shorty, get down, good lord. Baby got me tripping all over town. Strictly bitch, she don't play around. Cover much ground, got game by the pound. Getting paid is a forte, each and every day. The true play away, I can't get her out of my mind. I think about the girl all the time, wow, wow. And east side to the west side, pushing fat rides, it's no surprise. She got tricks in the stash, stacking up the cash quick when it comes to the gas. By no means average, and she's got to have it. Baby, you're a perfect ten, I wanna get in. Let me get down so I can win. I like the way you work it, no diggity, I like to bag it up. I like the way you work it, no diggity. I'm about to bag it, bag it up now. I like the way you work it, no diggity. I'm about to bag it up. I like the way you work it, no diggity. I'm about to bag it. Up. She's got class and style, street knowledge by the pound. I surely never act wild, very low key on the profile. Catching feelings is a no, so let me tell you how it goes. Curbs the word, spins the verb, loving it curves so freak what you heard. Rolling with the fatness, you never quite know what the hap is. And you got to pay to play, just for shorty bang bang to look your way. I like the way you work it, drum tight, top notch every day. You're blowing my mind, baby, in time, maybe I could get you in my ride. I like the way you work it, no diggity, I'm about to bag it up. I like the way you work it, no diggity, I'm about to bag it, I bag it up now. I like the way you work it, no diggity, I'm about to bag it up. I like the way you work it, no diggity, I'm about to bag it up. Hey yo, oh, hey yo, oh, hey yo, oh, hey yo, oh. damn that girl looks good. Hey yo, oh, hey yo, oh, hey yo, oh, hey yo, oh. play on, oh, play on, oh, play on. Oh, oh. Hey yo, oh, hey yo, oh, damn that girl looks good. Hey yo, oh, hey yo, oh, hey yo, oh, hey yo. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna pop some tags. Only got twenty dollars in my pocket. I, I, I'm hunting, looking for a come up. This is freaking awesome. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna pop some tags. Only got twenty dollars in my pocket. I, I, I'm hunting, looking for a come up. This is freaking awesome. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna pop some tags, no diggity, I'm about to bag it up, no, no, I'm gonna pop some tags, no diggity, I'm about to bag it up, no, no, I'm gonna pop some tags, no diggity, I'm about to bag it up, no, no, I'm gonna pop some tags, no diggity, I'm about to bag it up. Thank you very much. Cool. All right, all right. We'll let we'll let Ed get some water. I just I just want to point out that was the radio edit. Like yeah. that wasn't. We caught we caught that we caught yeah. it. Because <laughs> well because it's a live stream and there might be kids watching. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. You got to do it for the kids. All right, we got a lot of people watching on the stream. Thank you guys for that. Also, a lot of questions coming in on here. I'm gonna take some questions for the yeah. audience. So get ready. He said nothing really off limits, right? So nothing off. limits. Nothing's off limits. And to be honest, the more random the question, the better, because I, 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 I answer the same musical questions all day long. And sometimes people want to know what color socks I'm wearing. Okay. White, by the way, white. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we got a couple. We had a couple questions sent to us earlier. One girl was asking, "Hey, you know, she obviously she's not going to be able to marry you because she's way too young. She want to know, would you go to prom with her? I mean, ha have you ever has as a fan what of prom? I'm what I'm saying with with prom is like. You know that episode of Friends where, like, where where Rachel is meant to go to the prom with someone, and then right, like right, right, right. Ross is her backup. Right. Find the, the backup. I'll say yes, but find the backup. Yeah. Deal. Deal. Cool. Deal. No promises today. Yeah. 
So if you, I tell you, at this point in your career, because we, we talked at Jingle Ball, you know what I mean? At this point in your career, what song would you pick? Not, not only your own, but maybe somebody else's to soundtrack like the success of your career so far. Wild for the night, ASAP Rocky. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, I like that. Uh, hold on, go ahead. What's your question over here? Uh, favorite Beyonce song, either, either one plus one or crash into you. Okay. Not crash, right. no smash into you. I'm, th I'm thinking of the Dave Matthews song, smash, smash into, into you. you. Have you heard that one? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so crash on me. Thank you. Um, I first started out naming my guitars just really like, like the kids at school. If there was like a, an odd kid, like I'd call my guitar that, because you know. <laughs> Um, but now my guitars are named after people in my uh, my crew, my not my gangster crew, my like <laughs> oh, straight gangster <laughs> my crew. touring crew. So this guitar is called Murray, after my cousin who does all my filming. Is if anyone's ever seen a tour diary, Murray's Murray's done a few of them. But yeah, no. But the guitars to begin with, like it it started off as 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 a bit of a joke. I have a friend called Exo Man. If anyone knows, he's this seven seven foot dude. He's huge. But uh, he has a fake character called Lloyd. And this Lloyd character is a is a he's a like personal trainer who's not quite a personal trainer, and it's a, it's a very funny character he does where he will just I can't really explain it, but anyway he chose Lloyd because it's the kind of name where you'd be like, all right Lloyd, yeah, <laughs> and so the first kind of na names for my guitars were Lloyd, <laughs> Nigel, <laughs> Cyril, uh, Felix, you know like those those sort of names, but now they're named like James the Second. I was named after my uh, lighting guy. There was a James the First as well, but th that guitar smashed. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, and this one's Murray, my cousin. Another one, Trevor, my guitar tech. So they're named after my, my people, but yeah. There you go. All right, so you know, I want to ask this. Speaking of tours, any plans on doing your own tour after the Taylor? Of course, yeah. I mean, I, I've just done two, two headline tours myself, and the Taylor tour is very, very long. So um, there's no... Like I'm doing dates here and there. Like I'm doing a, a, a thing called Sunfest, which is in, in Florida. We're giving away tickets to that. So. so there are there are dates here and there that I'm kind of popping up and doing doing one-off things, and they kind of get booked very very quickly. It's just kind of like a month, then I play it. And so, yeah, there's no real plan for the tour, but by the end of this tour, I'll have, I'll have probably done a tour anyway, just by all these one-off dates. All right, uh, let's take two more questions. And go we ahead. can th I honestly we can do how many. Uh, how many okay, questions? go ahead. Hello. Joni Mitchell. Joni Mitchell. Should check She's her like out. Quick, I got to iTunes that. Hold on. <laughs> is that right? Is that jo Jody you, Foster? Well, she's uh, probably her. Probably her famous song would be Big Yellow Taxi. You must have heard that one, right? She's she's like whatever you say. What? <laughs> That's cool. Um, go ahead. Which one of my tattoos? Um, it's actually this one, but people have actually uh, mis misread this one. People think it's a couple having sex, <laughs> but it's not. It's a uh, mother and a child, which makes that even more messed up. Um, and it's by <laughs> <laughs> it's it's by a, a French artist called Matisse, who is my mother's favorite artist. And he was one oh, I know. And he was uh, he was uh, one of the first artists in the uh, kind of Picasso impressionist era. To uh, my parents are art nuts, so I know this. Uh, to paint or draw the human figure in r like ten lines or something like that. So this is one of those, and it's called Mother and Child. So I I got it tattooed on. My mum hates my tattoos, but she likes that one. So. What did she say the first time you came home with a tattoo? Well, I came home with the tattoo relatively young, so they were a bit like... How young? Uh, 18. And okay. Yeah, right. And yeah, they, were, they weren't they were keen, but they thought it was my only one, and to be honest, it was my only one. Yeah. <laughs> and I've kind of... I all of this has been done within like a year and a half, though. Nice. Like, I've gone a bit nuts. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Go ahead. Everyone's a bit hyper today. Just, yeah. just whoo, relax. It's Miami. Yeah. So, who was doing the question? Go ahead. Yeah, you. <laughs> See, I would have said a slow loris, but slow loris can actually kill you. <laughs> yeah. Has anyone? Have you seen the slow loris? No. It's 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 this like re it's really really small. Like it looks. I don't know. It's, it's got massive eyes. And there's a video of just it eating a rice ball on YouTube, and it's just... <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Or have you seen the twin baby sloths, where there's two sloths? 
<laughs> and they're twins and they're just you gotta go with the sloth and but they cannot physically not hug something i think that's but the thing is once you get a sloth and then it grows up and becomes a big sloth you're just kind of like <laughs> yeah <I know. laughs> yeah uh let's see uh go ahead you right there go ahead thank you love you too i love you too oh that was for him you can be the backup for the prom <laughs> backup Okay. So what's All that? Right. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait. So no. <laughs> so no. No cool. Yeah, I'll totally be the backup for that, Ed. Are there any? Are there any cool sages? Uh. Okay. Cool. Gangster. Okay. What was your question? <laughs> oh. Um. You know what? For a day, Oprah. Just just for a day. Cause she's a billionaire, right? You could be. Yeah. Oprah, yeah. So, w did you think I said something else? No. no. So, Oprah, so you could just be like, you could just buy an island and just go and look, cause because you're Oprah. And you'd be like, yeah. And she has her own TV channel. Do you imagine what you can do with your own TV channel? I'm saying. You could just have, I, I don't all know. Sloths all sloths all day. Like, because they, they're only playing like season one of Malcolm in the Middle on TV at the moment. They never go past season one. So, you could just buy the rights to all the seasons and just have it playing all day on your TV channel. This is what you would do with a billion dollars. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can go get you the DVD set right now. Do they do they have all of them out? Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll get it to you. I only found season one. I got you. Don't worry about I've it. I've been watching all of it, mate. Stevie, <laughs> the guy in the wheelchair. <laughs> has anyone heard a uh, uh, Has anyone heard a, a Soldier Boy song called Pretty Boy Swag? Yes! Doesn't he sound like Stevie, the guy in the wheelchair? <laughs> this right here is my swag. Can I speak? So Malcolm, so <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead, right here. Go ahead. What's your question? Hello. There you go. You want me to? You want to stand that way? You want to? Do, do you want to turn on turn on the main lights and turn off these ones? Right, right behind the security guard, right there. Oh. Could you turn? Yeah, there you go. All right, just be careful, guys. All right, three, two, one. There you go, guys. Thank you. Have you? No. I, I appreciate these dudes. The, the, the two way. fellas representing right there. Have you have you ever put something on Instagram and had to delete it because you were like, no, maybe I shouldn't have done it. Uh, I've put some things on ins like I, I got <laughs> I got given a sword the other day, right. but like it was it was it was like a Hobbit sword, and like I tweeted a picture of that, and then once I tweeted a picture of that, I was a bit like, like I'm I'm very strange, like <laughs> I probably shouldn't have tweeted that, but yeah. So there's been a couple of things where I've questioned myself well, and you my question sanity. Your yeah, <laughs> yeah your my tweets, sanity. Your Instagram photos. But you know, like. I have a sword. It's awesome. You got a hobbit sword. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Anyway, uh, we're oh getting the signal. We we do let's do one more, and then we'll do we'll yeah, do a couple fine. we'll do a couple more questions. Yeah. Is that cool? Okay. Cool. All right. We'll do one more, and then we'll do oh. some more questions. I'll All do right? another song, and then. I'll do another song, and then we'll. Uh, we'll grab some more questions. We'll do some more questions, but I'll put the guitar down afterwards, and then I think we're doing um. We're d we're doing a like picture meet and greet thing after this um yep so it's all good stay calm we're chilled all right cool white lips pale face breathing in snowflakes burnt lungs sour taste lights gone days end struggling to pay rent long nights strange men they say she's in the class 18, stuck in her daydream. Been this way since 18, but they, the uh, face seems slowly sinking, wasting, crumbling like pastries. And they scream the worst things in life from free to us, cause she's just under the upper hand, and goes mad for a couple grand. And she don't wanna go outside. 
tonight Cause in the pipe she'll fly to the motherland And sell love to another man It's too cold outside For angels to fly For angels to fly Ripped gloves, green coat Try to swim and stay float Dry house, wet clothes Loose change, banknotes Weary eyed and dry throat Cool girl, no phone And they say she's in the class 18 Stuck in her daydream Been this way since 18 But lately your face seems Slowly sinking, wasting Crumbling like pastries And they scream The worst things in life come free to us Cause she's just under the upper hand And goes mad for a couple grams And she don't want to go outside tonight Cause in the pipe she'll fly to the motherland And sell love to another man It's too cold outside For angels to fly now an angel dies Covered in white With closed eyes And hoping for a better life And this time Now we'll fade out tonight Straight down the line Straight down the line Cause we're all Under the upper hand Go mad for a couple grams We don't want to go outside tonight Cause in the pipe we'll fly to the motherland And sell love to another man It's too cold outside For angels to fly For angels to fly Fly, fly, for angels to fly, to fly, to fly, for angels to die. Cool. cool. One more time, y'all. I gotta make some noise for my man Ed Sheeran. You know, we, we've done a lot of these, and a lot of celebrities, you know, they always, you know, want to get through the questions and want to get through all that stuff. He's down to just, he just wants to hang with you guys. To be, so. yeah, to be, to, to be honest, because I'm, because, because I'm on tour at the moment as a support act, I get a lot of free time in the day, and I, I like this sort of stuff. I like answering questions from fans and stuff like that. So we'll, yeah. Ah. <laughs> it's fun for you too. It's a, it's a mutually beneficial relationship. I'm trying to grab a couple of these questions over here. Um, let's see. I did get a I did get a tweet earlier about touring in Mexico. People want to see you in Mexico. I mean, maybe that might be the next destination. For sure. I mean, like we we I really really want to get to certain places like okay. South Southeast Asia and South America are the two places that I really wanted to tour. But we book tours and then we get other tours like the Taylor tour or the Snow Patrol tour. So usually in the time where we're meant to go to these places, I go off on as a support act because I still have to build my name and my brand and the whole thing. So. I will definitely get up to South America and Southeast Asia on the next record. It's just this record that I've just had to lay the groundwork rather than just shooting off. Um, let's see. Jackie wanted to know, what is your f which one is your favorite guitar? Do you have a favorite? Uh, I do. I do, and it's coming out soon. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, bas I, I've been playing these guitars since I was about 16 years old, um, one way or another. And... Um, they basic they Martin are the 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 kind the the brands and they're the top acoustic brands and they don't have to give out any guitars and they certainly don't have to make any guitars but because they've started selling quite a few of these recently um they're making a signature model which is going to be coming out very soon which is going to be sick which so is going to be the Ed is it going to be the Ed no I'm guitar? I'm doing it in 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 conjunction with a uh, with a children's hospital where where I grew up so um. Yeah, so basically, it's going to be called after that charity, and all all the proceeds will go to that. But yeah, Very it's, cool. um, it's called Each. It stands for e East Anglian Children's Hospice, which is um, yeah. Very all cool. Right. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> all right, let's grab a few questions over here. Go ahead, you in the middle, right there. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, 
you had um, a guest star in Game of Thrones or Friends? I went for dinner with Courtney Cox the other day. <laughs> yeah. And she she's the nicest, nicest woman. Um but yeah, um I think I think because Game of Thrones is is running now. I don't know. Cause if you were a guest star on Friends, you're just repeated on every single channel every yep. day. So that would be kind of cool. But um my friend Gary, um g- who who s- who sings in a band called Snow Patrol, is actually a guest star on this season of Game of Thrones. He he because it's all filmed where he lives, he just popped down and Dressed up and got in it. Now we were talking <laughs> in the green room. He he wants to act. I mean, would you watch him in a movie? Would you guys go see a movie with that? What would you like to see him in? Like a comedy, drama, romance? F- Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Ed. Like it. All right, go ahead. So sorry. Who's gonna take the Iron Throne? Um. I personally, I personally think in, in in Game of Thrones, Joffrey is such a nasty character. I think he's just going to hold on to it because he's such a little. Th- <laughs> but uh, no, she's too. Did you s- like? I don't want to ruin it for for everyone. She does have the dragons, but she's also quite like nice to people. She kind of helps children and stuff like that. Whereas Joffrey is just straight up, like, no, no. I like the Starks. Yeah, I just picture you just rushing back to go like watch an episode like after you get off stage. Like I gotta see that episode of Game of Thrones. Well, the thing is because they're premiered every Sunday. Right. T- Taylor's on stage at nine o'clock, and I have to be on stage with Taylor around nine fifty. Oh, okay. And the premiere starts at nine o'clock, so I'm kind of <laughs> watching it and then <laughs> pause it and then yeah. go. Got it. That's <laughs> all I'm thinking. All right, go ahead. You in the middle, right there. Go ahead. Yes, go ahead. You like Pretty Little Liars. Is that on your TiVo? Is that a band or a TV? TV show. Yeah, so then, no. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen it. I'm sorry. I haven't seen it. My, co- my, cousin, my cousin, who's very masculine, has just got into New Girl, though. Which <laughs> 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 All right, go ahead. Uh, you in the middle, right there, with your hands up. Yeah, you. Go ahead. Thank you. Favorite British TV show. Uh, it's the show that you guys tried to make over here, but absolutely failed. No, 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 no. Skins, Skins was all right. Was it the, the Office? The the In Betweeners. Oh, the In Betweeners. Is a is a UK TV show. It's a comedy, and there was a there was a US MTV one, and I think it ran for one episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, no, the peop- people put in effort to make that. Like, uh, grant, granted, not a lot, but you know, it, it was. Let me see if I can pull a couple of these. If you could wake up anywhere in the world, where would you want to wake up? If I could wake up anywhere in the world, <laughs> probably, pr- probably in, probably in my, uh, probably in my parents' house, like back, back home. But the thing is, I went home, <laughs> and you know, do you know the stereotypical thing of when the kid moves out and like they turn their room into something. So like my room's been as it was. Like there was a little little studio. There was like a little four-track tape thing. There was all these posters of bands about. There's guitars everywhere, and. Uh, and I moved out at, at 16, and for th- like four or five years, I'd be coming home, and it would always be the same. And since I've come to America, and I went back in February for like a day, and I saw it, and it's just, it's just taking everything out. It's not storage. <laughs> it's it's storage room. I know. I know. I should probably expect that. It's not. It's not exactly like a shrine. You or thought anything. they were gonna <laughs> leave it as is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Go ahead. Uh, you and the white in the middle. Go ahead. Yeah. I've only got two, and. Uh, no, sorry. I already, and I and I one of them's asked. One of them is a watch and one of them was a birthday present. A, a question from one of the fellas of the two guys who actually came out. There you go. Go ahead. Would it? To someone trying to make it in music, I'd say, I'd say, as in you, I'd say, um, write as many songs as possible and do as many shows as possible. I always say this. I kind of view shows and songwriting as a dirty tap in, in, in an old house. Because when you stick on a dirty tap, it flows out muddy water for like a minute, and then it starts kind of flowing clean water, and then it just flows clean water. And once in a while, there'll be a fleck of dirt that comes out, but it just gets washed away and flushed down. So like with songwriting, what your first songs that you write are going to be terrible. My, s- my first songs were terrible, but you get all that mud out of you, and you start flowing clean, and then your songs will just get better and better and better, and then you'll get into a flow of just good songs. And then once in a while, you'll write a really bad song, but you've got it out of you, and you've 
got rid of it and you carry on. And it's the same with shows. You'll start off playing really bad shows and the more you do it, the better you get and then you'll get on a kind of straight line and once in a while, like, I had a bad show the other day where I fell off the stage, which wasn't <laughs> wasn't ideal, but, like, I got that out of me. I know never to jump that far again. And, um... Yeah, so now, now, now that's out of me. I'm carrying on on the on the thing. So all I'd say is do as many shows as possible and write as many songs as possible and uh, try and meet as many people as possible. Just make a lot of friends. Just keep what uh, the way the way the way I, the way I describe it is um, have no, but have have like fifty different pies and th one of the pies will eventually get eaten. But if you have fifty different ones, there's a chance that one of them will eventually. So if you just focus on one. It might not get eaten, if that makes sense. Then Clearly, I've eaten all your pies. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. What is your question? <laughs> My best dance you move is dance. Uh, feed the birds and shoot them down. Give it to them. Give me it. <laughs> no, it's, it, it no. Like it's, it's kind you of a, like a, it's a Guetta beat. You know, oh, okay. Like <laughs> so you feed the birds. And then you shoot them down, and then feed the birds, and then shoot them down, and feed the birds, and then shoot them down. That can go on for the whole night, and 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 no could, one. But I'm out of breath. No one says that, that guy can't dance because I mean t technically I'm like a world class break dancing G. You are and, straight uh, up. And and you know I'm I, whenever I do that I'm just taking a break because I don't want to embarrass anyone on on the floor. No, you no, know? no, no. Yeah. There's actually a <laughs> there's a video of me on YouTube. Uh, or auditioning for a musical trying to dance and it is d i mean it's just it's, te it's terrible it's terrible, it's terrible. <laughs> i wish i'd done the feed the birds and shoot them down then to be honest it's a new dance yeah. oops hello go ahead right there you jumping up and down yeah i picked you <laughs> kate upton probably there you go <laughs> There you go. Nice. See, the guys know. The guys are just yeah. going. I got it. That's what's up. Hey, but that, <laughs> but that, but that's, but that, that's coming from a very, for that that's answer. coming from a very misogynistic point point of oh, view. Oh, of course. If I was being, if I was being moral, I'd just, I'd actually, to be honest, I wouldn't. There wouldn't be many people I'd let sit on me. That would be. <laughs> <laughs> Barack Obama. Okay. I guess, I guess you could sue him afterwards, couldn't you? Yeah, you there could you just go. be like. Uh, All right. What, what's your <laughs> question? <laughs> changing go ahead. the question. How long did it take me to get ready? Uh, this morning it took me half an hour to get ready. But the thing is, I do well. I do this thing called marinating, <laughs> which it, which uh, after every single shower you have to marinate. So, like so <laughs> this is seriously, <laughs> you do that, dude. Marinating's the thing. So like you basically have a shower, you wrap a towel around there, and you wrap a towel like around your head, and you just sit in the bed like a monk. <laughs> but you so marinate, marinate for like you marinate for like 15 minutes. It's the comfiest, most awesome thing ever. And uh, the the amount of ridicule I got from it from past from past relationships and now I'm out of those relationships I'm just now free to marinate <laughs> as much as I want so anyone that wants to marinate have a shower wrap a towel around towel around your head like that like you're a monk and just sit in bed and just, just chill I'm gonna send you that photo later <laughs> it won't leave your mind what the <laughs> marination <laughs> photo, <my> marination photo. <laughs> all right go ahead you in the pink what's your question Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah? You want? Cool. Hi. What are your names? Daniela Samira. Okay. <laughs> are you ready?
<laughs> Lola. Okay, now in Spanish. No, I'm sure. All right. Forget I it. actually had I, I actually had uh, my f- my French record label uh, actually because but the song the song took so long to take off there that they actually got a translation done of it. So it sounds. So there's a French version. No, it never got released. Oh, never, never. Okay. I w- no, well no I, I I was just a bit like if the song's not gonna work in that territory then it's not gonna work it's not like there's no point changing the lyrics on it it's like I'd rather I'd rather kind of focus on the places where it had worked you know rather than trying to clutch at straws and I don't know like here in Miami so one more time guys make some noise Ed Sheeran thank you <laughs> See you soon. more than gracious hanging and dude I appreciate it how many people you guys go on the Taylor Swift show Oh, yeah. All right, one more time. Ed Sheer, make some noise, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs>